I started Mad Men when I was 35 years old, and I did it for almost a decade. And by the time, like, we've, we started in April 2006, and essentially, like, the last piece of press slash award show was in January of 2016. So it was, it was pretty much 10 years of my life. And from 35 to 45, so like a quarter of my existence on this planet, I played Don Draper, which is weird um, and remarkable. And for somebody who, you know, you, you set out on a career to, to hopefully have success like that and to hopefully have a thing like that and hopefully have some sort of thing that resonates in the culture at large and then to have, have it happen kind of late in life uh, when I'm so old um, is, is really weird, but it's also fulfilling and you think, okay, well, I hope I can, I can, um, I can take, get the most out of this. And I got to do kind of every color of the rainbow on, on, the, on that show, meaning I got to, I got to, you know, do, do so many wonderful scenes with so many wonderful actors and guest stars and regulars and, um, you know, from from the gamut of emotional experiences, from you know joy to to, to absolute devastation, and Don's incredible journey, um, and to just be in this complete thing, um, and the fact that it that it resonated so strongly in the culture was really wonderful. But I guess like the, if I'm looking at the things that stay with me from that show, it's it's the the, the friendships that I made, and uh, I still have wonderful wonderful friends from the show, and it's fun to like watch everybody's career as it goes along. Uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to see John Slattery's play on Broadway, uh, which is which is coming up here. And, um, and you know, kind of keep in touch with everyone. It's it's really nice. Um, it's nice to make friends. Make friends, you guys. That's what I'll leave you with. <laughs>